President Donald Trump has signed an executive order establishing the Genesis mission, a federal initiative to accelerate AI-driven research. Rachna Dhanrajani joins us now with the details. Rachna, tell us more about this project and why is it being compared to Project Manhattan? Right, what the White House has launched with the Genesis mission is not a routine science program. This is Washington stating very clearly that the next major global race in technology, security and industry will run through artificial intelligence. And the United States wants to set the pace. The new executive order directs the Department of Energy to create a single national AI platform that can speed up scientific discovery across almost every strategic sector. The comparison to the Manhattan Project is intentional. Back then, the country pulled together scientists, labs, production sites and classified research under one mission. That's exactly what Genesis is also attempting to do. Here's what Genesis involves. For the first time, America's most powerful supercomputer, secure cloud AI systems, robotic and automated labs and decades of government scientific data will be connected through one unified platform. This platform is meant to do far more than just analyze information. It is meant to run experiments, test scientific ideas, simulate materials and energy systems and design new technologies and automate entire research processes in areas like fusion, biotech, semiconductors, quantum science and critical materials. In in simple terms, the government is trying to build a national AI engine and plug the entire federal scientific ecosystem into it. Now, the timeline shows how urgent this effort is. The Energy Department has 60 days to identify at least 20 national challenges where AI could dramatically accelerate progress. It has 90 days to list every supercomputer, storage system and high-speed network that can support this mission. And in 270 days, the Donald Trump administration wants to see a real demo of this platform that it can produce results that traditional research cannot do. This comes at a time when global competitors, including China, are investing heavily in AI-driven science. So for USA, it is not a minor policy shift. It seems like a major reorganization of the country's research engine around artificial intelligence and a clear sign of how seriously the United States is taking the global technology race. Right, Rachna, many thanks for those details. And speaking of AI, 